do you want a variety of rich digital program resources? When thinking about your curriculum and you're interested in um, engaging the students, you do want a variety of digital program resources. So what types of resources might we be thinking? So I'm gonna go back into the portal and just give you a glimpse of some of the resources that are out there today and specifically in the Christ in Us program. So if we just logged into any grade level and went to a unit and then a lesson, so we're in unit two and lesson six, fairly easy to identify here. How does God share his life with us? Now, I've been showing you the administrator view, but I'm just gonna jump right to the student view to show you that we've got uh, quite a few resources that the students can access. So um, you can see eBooks would be one example. So if we click on uh, the eBook for this particular lesson, you can see that it opens right to the page and you can scroll down and take a look. So how does God share his life with us? Well, I've already highlighted some of the some of the content here. You have annotation tools so that you could say, you know, I want to continue highlighting and, uh, you know, I'm going to do that on the next page. Uh, the church is the body of Christ, Jesus Christ, the head of the body, the church. Uh, so there you go. It's really easy to use this during instruction to keep attention with the students. So that's a rich digital resource. That's an ebook. If we go back to the same lesson, uh, we can go back and we can see videos. Now let's take a look at um, a video lesson. Now this could be used for a catechist who wants to just to view it and get ideas for how to explain the concepts. Or maybe this is great for those at-home learners or for parents who are not comfortable teaching the information. So let's see if I can get this audio to work. Yeah, it looks like it. And I'm gonna just skip right so in. So today our big question that we're gonna be exploring is how does God share his life with us? Well, one way God shares his life with us is through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave us the church. All right, so you can see these are video lessons. Um, the instruction for the lesson is all on uh, the lesson resource page. So very easy. Now, the video lessons are optional purchases, but what a fantastic resource. Let's take a look at a couple more. Now, if we come down here, you can see we've got prayer resources. Uh, we've got a video, another type of video. So this is an instructional video called Did You Know? This is uh, building on the lesson content. So let's just look at a couple of seconds of this. Did you know? When you pray, you participate in the prayer of the church. When you pray, you are making an important connection with God. But even when you share a wonderful private moment in prayer, you're not doing so completely on your own. Whether you are praying alone or with a group of others, you are participating in the prayer of the church. Okay, how fantastic is that? So you've got videos here to help to engage the students. You can tell they're age appropriate and very short in duration. And um, they're also followed by an activity to make sure that the children are not just watching a shiny video, but that they can engage with the activity. Now, this is something that could be printed or this is something that could be completed in the portal. So you can see I've already started to answer this. So when you pray, you participate in the prayer of the church. So it says we lift our hearts to God and put our trust in him. Write a short prayer that tells of your love for God. So dear God, we pray that in today's world, etc. And I'm just, uh, I was demonstrating some of the annotation tools here. Again, this could be completed, could be printed out if you see the printer icon, or it could be completed online in, in uh, certain situations. It really just depends on what you want to, to do and how you want to use it. So let's keep going. That's Did You Know? And then we ha also have a video for the partner in faith. And the partners in faith support the spirituality. So we've got a saint that's been indicated for each lesson, a different saint for every lesson, for every grade level. And so their life story supports the theme of the lesson. And so let's take a look at this particular saint. This is uh, St. Faustina. So let's see if we can learn just a little about St. Faustina. 
Saint Faustina is a partner in faith because she shows us how to share Jesus with the world. Faustina is well known for the conversations she had with Jesus. It was at his request that she joined a convent in Warsaw, Poland in 1925. It was there, years later, that Jesus instructed her to commission the famous Divine Mercy painting. Now I'm going to pause there because uh, we know that Divine Mercy Sunday is coming up very soon, don't, don't we? So that will be the week after Easter. Um, so what a fantastic saint to show tonight. So th these are examples of lesson resources that um, are already pulled together in one location to serve you by uh, engaging the students with technology. So this is what's happening in the world of education today. It's called blended learning. We're blending instruction between print and digital resources. So when you're evaluating your program, you would want to seriously consider finding a program that offers rich digital media such as these. Um, and there are also catechist resources, and I think it's important to share uh, at least one of those. So let me get out of this screen, and we're going to go back into our portal. And I'm just going to go to Instructor View, which would be Catechist or Catholic School Teacher, and we can see Catechist Formation. So we've got uh, formation at the lesson level. Um, if you get started, it's going to provide a lesson focus and lesson summary with definitions of the words. It's amazing what technology can do now to make this so much easier to prepare. This is also available as an audio file. I'll play a few seconds. Lesson 6 asks the essential question, how does God share his life with us? All right, so you can listen to that. Uh, there's a meditation. You can set your own goals. You can look back after the lesson and type yourself notes. Um, looking forward. So a lot of fantastic resources in the Christ in Us portal for catechists. Uh, there are also unit resources, fantastic videos to help to support the theme of the unit, as well as broader topics on scripture and uh, Catholic social justice, um, you know, broader set of catechist formation videos.